Star of Sileveth. It is said to be the seal stone containing Sileveth, goddess of destruction. This magical star of destruction was shattered into pieces all across the world, and those who were born with this fragment were called the Starborn. In 1192, during an age of conflict, the Archean commander Khazar sought to use the power of the star fragments as a tool of war. The wizard Jan Junith sent Calanthea, a witch, to the remote island where Starborn were hiding.
get out of here! weapon. these years, the memory of that day returned like a nightmare. Who goes there? Right? Did you have that nightmare again? Please, don't feel guilty. The Elder wouldn't want you to feel this way forever. Come on, why don't you go out and get some fresh air? Oh, right. Lottie just left to go to Moonshade Town. You should follow her. I'd love to come with, but running makes my arm hurt. I'll bet Lottie morphed. If you want to catch up to her, you'll have to morph too. Ah, oh, that Lottie. She didn't take the map again. Can you take it to her? I drew up the map because she asked for it too. 
Just take that map on the table. Let's get going. Go to those stairs over there, quickly. If you want to catch up to Lotte, you'd better hurry. It. Thanks. Oh, I need to repair something in Crescent Town. Since you're here already, do you want to go to the training grounds with me? It's been a while since you've seen some action. I'm sure it's nothing too serious or urgent. Besides, today is the day when Gigantrite passes by Wisperian. Wisperian will be full of energy today. So let's take it easy. Why don't you take this chance to try out a different weapon? You can't keep using that broken sword forever. Then we can go to Moonshade Town. What do you say? Now, let's go. Stairs are broken. Be careful, my friend. Uh. Seems like Clay is here too, given a special occasion. Careful. <laughs> my steel pickaxe almost got your foot. Today's the day where the massive divine beast called Gigantrite comes by. Oh, I'm surprised to see anyone here today. Want to try out some weapons? We've prepared all kinds of weapons. You may need to carry various kinds to be ready for any situation. Oh, you're new to these weapons, right? Let me teach you. Well, I'm sure you already know you can equip up to two weapons. Try out different weapons and find a weapon that you like.
Shade Town. You'll have a good view of Whisperian on the way, too! Have we spent too much time? Should we hurry? I'm getting bored of guarding the gate. Can't we have some fun today? Whenever Gigantrite visits Whisperian, the town buzzes with excitement and energy. During such an event, you and Lottie left Whisperian's fortress to visit Moonshade Town. What's going on here? Uh, let's go and check it out. I'll go over first. Follow me with your piton and grappling hook. Watchtower was destroyed by an attack. Although the path was now blocked, you and Lottie made use of the piton and your grappling hooks to continue onward. It looks like the cart was destroyed by artillery. I hope Moonshade Town attacking. is okay. Trans. Let's take care of this quickly. Then get to move right now. Watch the movement carefully. Look for an opening for a counter attack. would let us cross with Spirian to get to Moonshade Town. It's the only way to get there without a boat. This is bad. Bermatz is here. Maybe he has an idea. I will try to find a way. You go ahead and take care of the injured. Bermatz, oh, can you fix this? Lotty. Well, between the two of us, we'll have it fixed in no time. Shall we get started?
that appeared on your way to Asperian. While Asperian was still intact, a broken pulley lift prevented you from reaching Moonshade Town. Suddenly, a mysterious being bathed in light appeared and led you to the top of the great tree. troops now. Damn it! With the pulley destroyed, reinforcements can't reach us! Is there some way... Oh, someone's coming! your strength? Thank you. Captain Kyra and I will fight the Archean forces on this side and find a way to get in. We'll need you to go into town and rescue the residents with the resistance. Please be careful. When this is over, let's be sure to meet again. After arriving on top of the great... Power of the 
With this, Kazar will have to recognize Zaron. Please 
power of a rampaging star fragment. Wake up! That's strange. I wasn't told about any serious injuries. <sighs> hey, are you awake? Do you recognize me? Oh, nice. You wait here. I'll call the healer now. The child who lost everything here ten years ago now challenges the might of the Archim Legion. Starborn bravery and determination forged in celestial fire. to move. You... I'm on my way with the healer. What happened? Do you have any idea how worried I was? I thought something happened to you. Clay is waiting inside, so hurry up and go see him. If the pulley wasn't broken, I would have kicked way more ass. I heard someone took down that giant orb alone. That's crazy. Seriously? Nobody else could put a dent in that beast. Did you see that purple glow at the time? I'm glad we won and everything, but something feels off. Come on, what's the worst that could happen? We won, and that's all that matters. You did good. Ah, oh, you're finally awake. Come this way. Thanks to your defeat of King Vert, we were able to fight off the Archeum. The portal in the sky has closed as well. We were about to be killed by King Vert when your star fragment went into a frenzy and overwhelmed the enemy. If you hadn't been able to defeat him, none of us would have survived. I'm thankful the Elder protected you ten years ago, so that today we could stand together to defend Wisp Island. Speaking of which, I'm sure you feel guilty over what happened to the Elder. You didn't cause his death. You should know that. Please, don't blame yourself. That said, are you alright? Your power, it's clearly too dangerous to leave as is. When a Star Fragment's power overloads like that, it takes a heavy toll on the bearer's body. It could even kill you. Carrying such a powerful Star Fragment makes you a target for the Archeum, too. A decade ago, Kazar and Kalanthia invaded this island precisely to steal that power for themselves. That power is unpredictable when it's in a frenzy. It will hurt innocent bystanders who get too close. I have a friend named Martine in Castleton, a town in Laslin. She's researching the effects of star fragments. I believe she can help you. Here, take my token. Show this to the storage manager named Melky. 
and he will help you. When you are ready to leave, touch Luna Zero's head to temporarily enhance your glide ability. That should get you all the way to Castleton. Hm. I wish you all the best. Thanks to the Star Fragment's power, the island is safe for now. The storage is always open, rain or shine. Come, brother. First time in Castleton? Well, if there's anything you want to know, ask away.
come, brother. First time in Castleton. You can find the Einar Priestess near the entrance on the eastern side of the plaza. Welcome, brother. First time in... This is the safest storage in the world. I'll keep your things safe so you can rest easy. Lord Hobbs of Laslin resisted Revel Lupius, who had usurped the throne, but his dominion was taken by the Archean Legion. However, Laslin was freed again by the Founder's Order, led by Captain Da Vinci, and the Laslin Allied Resistance Forces were founded here. Skies darken, Einar's blessings shine bright upon us. Rainy day. Plantaria become more vicious when it's raining, you see. Do you need anything? Yes. Welcome. Good. Mm, I don't know what those Archean bastards want with her. But under these circumstances, we have no choice but to be wary of outsiders seeking Martinet. Oh, sorry for stalling. You need the rest of the passphrase to find Martinet. The first part of the phrase is the light fragment. That's the skin. absolutely need to grow skills. It's a must. Do you want to learn a new skill? So, Clay sent you. The second half of the password is Whispers. If you want to meet with Martinet, head to the Castleton Infirmary on the north side of town. Say the password, and you'll be allowed to enter. By the way, many of the townsfolk, including myself, have been brought to health by Martinet's healing skills. Please take care not to let anything happen to her. Keep an eye out for anyone suspicious on your tail, just in case. At first, Melky pretended not to know anything about Martinet. It turns out she had gone into hiding, fearing the Archean Legion. When you showed Clay's token to the villagers, told you where to go, and gave you the full password, the Light Fragment whispers. Do you want to learn a new skill? The second half of the password is whispers. Say it to get into the Castleton Infirmary on the north side of town. Do you want to learn a new skill? Every skill contains great wisdom. See you later. That was close. I can't believe the ghastly tales were true.
Take a gander before you head off on your adventure. I haven't seen you around before, so what brings you here? I see. Play sent you to me because of my research. The truth is, my sister Adriana also suffers from bouts of mana frenzy. I've been searching for a cure. If you're suffering from the effects of mana frenzy as well, a mana calming potion can alleviate your symptoms. I'd brew one for you. But I just used my last batch of ingredients, and unfortunately, I must stay here for the time being. Then I'll tell you where to go and what I need. Head to the Golden Apothecary in the Golden Rye Pastures. You'll be able to find some rancid powder. Bring me some rancid powder, and I'll make you an improved mana calming potion. You know how to use waypoints, right? If you aren't sure, go ask Priestess Grace. Using them makes it a breeze to return after procuring materials. Oh, pretty. Oh, oh dear. You look... Your symptoms are clearly getting worse. Hurry, bring me some rancid powder. Castleton Infirmary has been closed for some time due to rumors that the Archeum Legion was hunting Martinet. It was to trick them into thinking that Martinet, who had worked as a healer there, had left. While in hiding, she is still researching a cure for her sister's Star Fragment side effects. You still have unanswered questions, I see. Waypoints are one of the greatest implementations of Venalux magic. They allow you to instantly traverse from one location to another. Originally, teleportation was a spell that only the most skilled wizards were able to cast by creating distortions between spaces using the elements of wind and earth. It was the wizard Clay who completed the schema to make waypoints so that teleportation could be accessible to everyone. Anyone can use a waypoint without any special training. Try placing your hand on the waypoints in the plaza and at the Golden Rye Pastures. Afterwards, talk to the Resistance Officer Ashton. He'll explain the rest. Lord Hobbs of Laslin resisted Revel Lupius, who had usurped the throne, but his dominion was taken by the Archeum Legion. However, Laslin was freed again by the Founder's Order, led by Captain Da Vinci, and the Laslin Allied Resistance Forces were founded here. Hello. 
long is this ugly statue going to remain? This was once the most prosperous granary in Laslin, but after the cursed rain came, it became infested with strangely enlarged pests. People tried to solve the problem by employing the power of free wizards, but the free wizards' clumsy magic only made things worse. The Einar Priestess Grace introduced waypoints as a great integration of Venelux magic. Teleportation was a rare skill that was only used by a few wizards. When the wizard play completed the schema for waypoints, it enabled anyone to teleport freely. This was once the most prosperous granary in Laslin, but after the cursed rain came, it became infested with strangely enlarged pests. People tried to solve the problem by employing the power of free wizards, but the free wizards' clumsy magic only made things worse. Ah, looks like it's your first time using a waypoint. If you place your hand on a waypoint, the schema will be activated and the stone will glow blue. Open your map and select a waypoint activated with blue line. You will be instantly transported to that location. 
Once you place your hand on a waypoint, it will glow with blue light, activating the schema. If you open the map and select an activated waypoint, you can instantly travel to that location. Can I help you? Um, do you need something from the master? Rancid powder? Well, I know how to make it, but uh, no, no. Uh, please forget what I just said. I can't. I haven't received the master's approval yet. What if I just tell you the ingredients you need, and you can gather them and find them yourself? Collect decomposed hearts from violent harvesters, poison stingers from wasps, and contaminated horns from scarabs. Come back here with all of those, and I'll give you the last ingredient. Then, if you take all the ingredients to Windheel Shores and find my master, he'll make the powder for you. In the apothecary at the Golden Rye Pastures works the always gloomy Oliver, the herbalist's apprentice. Oliver has been an apprentice there for some time, though he has yet to gain the approval of his master. You've heard that the locals pitied the outstanding apprentice, a gifted student who suffered under his eccentric master. Powder can be acquired from harvesting insects in the golden rye pastures. 
They are the decomposed heart of a harvester, which controls magical power, a wasp stinger, which controls magical toxicity, and a contaminated scarab horn, which has a tonic effect. These ingredients are highly toxic on their own, but highly effective together. Mandrake Farmstead, where we grow them with love from seed to harvest. <laughs> if it's fresh mandrakes you need, you've come to the right farm. <sighs> oh, my. Uh, I've just run out of roots. Hmm. How about collecting as many as you need yourself? And, in exchange, you can have everything for free. Then... Try harvesting the roots from the mandrakes planted out in the field. Oh, by the way, mandrakes will turn violent when you try to harvest their roots, so be extra careful.
While you search for treasures hidden in ships wrecked by storms and chests that have been drifting, you will encounter the masters of the coastline. From a distance, they look like normal crustaceans, but when you get up close, you'll find they pose a greater threat than you anticipated. you here. Huh? These are the ingredients needed to make rancid powder. Martinet must have sent you. But how did you know about these ingredients? Oliver, that clever boy. How did he figure this out already? He's quite bright. Herbalists have to go to perilous places to acquire ingredients. But Oliver can't even stand the sight of a mere ant. I'm waiting for him to overcome his fears. Well, I'll make the rancid powder for you right away. It must be urgent for you to come all the way out here. But look at me, rambling on. Here's your rancid powder. Planning to go straight back to Martinet? In that case, why don't you try opening your map and teleporting to Castleton? So soon? Did you find rancid powder? How are you feeling? Have you gotten any worse? I'm glad you're all right. The rancid powder you brought is high quality. I'll make the monocalming potion for you right away. All right, here you are. Why don't you try it and see how it works? <laughs> how are you? Are you feeling any better? Just as I thought. It's much more effective. I tried to improve the efficacy, but I didn't expect the results to be this good. The calming potion's effect is very effective this time. I need to bring this to my sister right away. But as you know, I'm in no position to be wandering around outside. Thank you. This is the same calming potion that I made you. Please, bring this to Mina at Windhill Shores. Only Mina knows where my sister is, you see. Zeroth's men might follow me and find my sister if I go see her myself. Yes, Zareth, the leader of Laslin's Archeum unit. He's one of the Khazar's top commanders. He wants the power of my sister's star fragment and will stop at nothing to get it. 
You see, if the power is strong enough, the mana will go into a frenzy. The calming potion is controlling your power for now, but you can't hide from Zarath forever. Please be careful. The effect of the mana calming potion that Martinet made was incredible. Soon after you drank the potion, you could feel your magic begin to settle down. Martinet, who had been researching a way to relieve her older sister Adriana's pain for so long, finally succeeded in creating a potion more effective than her other attempts. you. Seeing that you brought the calming potion, I'm pretty sure that Martinet must have sent you. If she sent this out of the blue in such a hurry, then things probably worked out well for her. Sorry, but Adriana isn't exactly here right now. The news from Nina was unexpected. Zeroth's spies were closing in on Adriana's hideout, 
forcing her to flee. Martinet's potion was still not effective enough to control her mana completely, so she set out to find a way to quell her frenzied mana on her own. just jump off the cliff. Ah, oh, I'm researching the contaminated beings of Windhill Shores. I've noticed an unknown contaminant on the floating plank in the sea, but I haven't been able to identify what it is. 
I only have a small amount of time to get the magic potion out of the water and onto the contaminant. Really? Oh, thank you. You must apply it to the contaminant within the time limit. Be careful not to let the magic potion come into contact with seawater, all right? Unfortunately, we're a bit late. <laughs> that one must have taken Adriana away! You have a star fragment just like that girl. I won't be going home empty-handed after all. Interfere with our plans? I'll kill you! Hand over the star fragments! I can't lose some kid! nightmare I had. So many people in despair, all of them writhing in pain. With time, my memories became clearer. It's agonizing, but I just can't give up. At the very least, for Mortine's sake. I felt someone's presence in my sleep. I thought it was just Mina at first, but then I could tell from the heavy footsteps that the intruder was someone I didn't know. I quickly hid myself and watched the intruder pass by. The pattern engraved on their sword meant that they were part of the Archeum Legion. Just why are the Archeum looking for me again? I can't allow that tragedy to be repeated. It's probably time for me to leave. At the very least, Martine will be safe. The Archean Legion attacked the lighthouse where Adriana had been hiding, seeking the power of a star fragment. Only after defeating them did you discover her research papers and a diary she had left behind. There, she had clearly recorded the difficult times she had been through. Janice Carter anyway. She recognized my power immediately, and knew that as long as I possessed it, I would be targeted by Archeum for the rest of my life. 
She ended up telling me that the only way to truly be free from the Archeum was to leave as soon as possible and find some way to gain control over my power. You found a document which contained details about Janice Carter, someone Adriana had met. Janice, recognizing the strength of the star fragment that Adriana had, advised her that the only way to be free from the Archeum was to leave as soon as possible and find a way to control her power. forces captured Martinet, the younger of two twin sisters. By keeping her hostage, they forced the shaman Adriana, who wielded the power of a star fragment, to call forth the rains. As the ritual began, rain cascaded from the sky, accompanied by crashes of thunder. But the Archean forces had altered the ritual. Their tampering caused a cursed rain to fall on Laslin. Wherever the rain fell, creatures transformed into violent monsters that attacked people and devastated the farmland. Adriana was shocked to witness what she had done. When the Archean forces turned on the sisters, meaning to kill them now that they had served their purpose. The awe-inspiring power of the star fragment that lay dormant within Adriana flooded out and their enemies were annihilated in an instant. aftermath, Adriana was beset by unspeakable disfigurations, swallowed by guilt over her role in causing the cursed rain.
Adventurer, because of you, I was able to hear about my sister before it was too late. Thank you. Now that her hiding place has been exposed, Zeroth's men will find this clinic sooner or later, putting the villagers in great danger. So I also decided to leave before it's too late. I wish I could have created a true cure for you. I'm sorry. My calming potion won't be enough to fully control your mana. It's too powerful. But it'll keep it from raging out of control for the time being. I'll focus on developing a proper, long-term treatment. When we meet again, I'll be able to cure you completely. Until then, please take care of yourself and be safe out there. Don't forget that Zaroth and the Archeum Legion could be after you. Archeum had taken Martinet hostage. Is there someone out there? Can anyone help me? There isn't that much time left. Oh, what should I do? There's something that I desperately need, but no one will even listen to me. Couldn't you find it in your heart to help me out, adventurer? Have you ever heard of this monster known as Iskale the Greyfanged? He was this dreadful wolf that possessed terrible malvescence. Back in my younger days, I almost ended up getting killed by Iskale. The only reason I'm alive to speak to you about this today is that Henry, the Lord's son, came to rescue me and the other children. He heroically sacrificed his own life to defeat Iskale. Whenever I get the chance, I try to visit Henry's grave in Castleton Abbey to leave some offerings. Last time, I made some gloves for him using the hide of a rabbit that I caught. The anniversary of Henry's death is coming soon, so I'd like to prepare a special gift for his grave. I saw a beautifully crafted keepsake at an old hunter's house once. He said he got it from participating in the wolf hunting contest that is held in Henry's memory. I wish I could get one of those keepsakes and bring it to Henry's grave, but I'm still too young to participate in the contest. You don't mind? You'll really get one of those keepsakes for me? If that's the case, then I... No, never mind. Actually, it would be nice if I could have two of these keepsakes. Do you... Think it'd be possible to get two? Thank you so much, adventurer! The contest is hosted at the Lord's Residence in Castleton. Go there and ask how you can participate. Rob on this way! Come over here for a second! building with a garden that's hard to miss.
Ah, so many things to do. Making arrangements for the contest, checking up on the farm. I know that you've come a long way, but our situation is pretty bad. We might even have to shut down the contest at this rate. We must lure the wolves to proceed with the contest, but the bait we've been using just isn't working. Lord Hobbs cherishes this contest. He hasn't missed a single one. You have no idea how much trouble I'll be in if this year's event falls flat. Oh, um, wait. If you're here for the contest, can you please help me? I need some ingredients to make a new kind of bait. A wolf hunter keepsake? But that's... No, never mind. But first, you need to help me procure the ingredients needed for the bait, okay? Please defeat the crackle in the wrecks on Wind Hill Shores. They're tricky to find, but the wolves love eating them. The stench of crackle meat is irresistible bait for beasts like them. Also, investigate any chests that are left in the wrecks. They often contain fishing bait, which is quite effective as well. Please remember, Crackle are difficult prey to hunt, so you should equip at least uncommon level armor. But why don't you pay a visit to Armor Crafter Rachel? I've already dropped a word with her. Have you tried using the storage? It's very convenient. That's great! You look more composed than last time, so I guess it went well. Anyway, I have something to tell you. Do you know how to transfer upgrade levels? I thought as much. If you want to prepare yourself properly against all sorts of Archeum spies, you need to know what transferring entails. Brother, let me tell you something I learned from one of my other customers. When you get a shiny new high-grade weapon, you can transfer power from a rusty old weapon to strengthen it. When you perform a transfer, the older equipment's upgrade level is completely moved to the new equipment. It's much more efficient than upgrading new gear from scratch. So, brother, remember to upgrade every piece of equipment as much as you can. Got that, brother? Transferring power means you never have to throw away a piece of equipment. So feel free to upgrade everything as much as you'd like. <laughs> it's easy. This is the safest storage in the world. I'll keep your things safe so you can rest easy. Many have died because of this evil man. Crafters to make weapons for adventurers. Oh, good. You can ask me anything about weapons, my friend.
worry. I'll completely fix it with restoration magic. Yes! Restoration complete! Now you can smash the Archeum to bits as you wish! Because of this evil man. The storage manager advised you to get ready for the battle against Archeum and taught you how to effectively upgrade your equipment. You can now own even stronger equipment by upgrading it. Unfortunate accidents often happen off the coast of Castleton, when fishing boats are sunk by the perilous reefs. Chunks of the bait that anglers use are sometimes found in the chests that wash ashore from the wreckage. Their pungent smell is highly effective at luring in wolves. If anyone finds this letter, please come to my rescue. My ship has been wrecked, and I'm stranded on a remote rocky island. I'm surrounded by giant crabs. I can see the Windhill Shores lighthouse in the distance. Dear Aina, please send someone to me.
Crustaceans, called crackles, are often found in the wrecks near Windhill Shores. Crackles are as ferocious as they look and have a pungent smell. It's said that a hunter once won the wolf hunting contest by secretly using crackle meat as bait. mentioned. So, you're off to hunt a crackle. That means you're in need of some tough armor. Usually, you need to bring materials to crafters like us to make armor. Since you came through Dave's introduction, I will provide the materials just this one time. Try crafting the armor you need. 
The Lord's aid Dave introduced you to an armorsmith at Castleton named Rachel. Rachel gave you some materials and told you to craft some armor. Back already? That was fast. Thanks to you, the contest will go on. Uh, why don't you ask Chris, the head of the association? He's also the Lord's younger brother. He must be preparing for the contest at the Western campsite on the Black Howl Plains. Use those ingredients to make some bait, then bring it to Chris. Since you did all the work, you should be the one to deliver it to him. That way he can thank you in person. Take the exit on the second floor of the Lord's residence and head up to the Castleton Abbey. You'll find an aged herb extract jar. Steeping the ingredients in those jars makes the bait extra fragrant and effective. The Chris is probably worried that the contest might not take place. On your way there, please send my letter to him via parrot mail to let him know the bait is on the way. Oh, and just so you know, there's a waypoint in the Black Howl Plains too. It will make traveling there much easier. When you returned with the ingredients, the Lord's aide was greatly relieved that he could proceed with the contest as intended. He asked you to deliver the new bait to the Lord's brother, Chris, in Blackhow Plains. He also is the head of the Wolf Hunters Association, so you'll need to talk to him to acquire a keepsake.
This vast plain was once a cherished village landmark before the packs of giant wolves appeared. Now, even seasoned hunters avoid it. Those who trespass into the realm of savage beasts must prepare to face death. Where is the person the Lord's aid was supposed to send? Well, maybe we should postpone the contest. Ah, oh, you're the adventurer my aid told me about. Wait, is that new wolf bait? Good. The uh, old bait didn't work very well. I'm grateful for your help. The hunting contest is the pride of Castleton. Are you here to make a name for yourself? What? Wolf hunting keepsakes? They were only given out in the early days of the contest. Our aides must have been mistaken. But I am really touched by your story. I can't believe the children my nephew saved still remember him. It's something to be thankful for. I have an idea. You should speak with the artisan who made the keepsakes in the past. Find him and tell him I sent you. Be warned, though. The materials are hard to come by. Are you willing to get them yourself? If so, you're going to need to collect broken wolf fangs and radiant antler fragments. Wolf fangs can be acquired by hunting wolves on the plains. Deer antlers can be found near Hamel's tomb. That's where the deer of the plains go to end their lives. You don't know about Hamel? Hamel was a mysterious deer that protected the Black Owl Plains. The villagers believed Hamel was sacred and could travel through both time and dreams. Hamel drove his scale out once, but the monstrous wolf returned with a mighty morvescence. He killed Hamel and took my nephew's life. If it hadn't been for that evil morvescence. Lately, I've been seeing more starborn in the village. I have to admit, they make me a bit uneasy. With such strange powers, any one of them has the potential to turn out just like his scale. I don't like to think about it. Once you collect the materials, you'll need to visit the artisan named Thomas in Castleton. Tell him it's a favor for me, 
and we'll happily oblige. Do me a favor. On your way to Hamel's tomb, stop by the watchtower and light a beacon fire. It's a signal that the wolf hunting contest will resume soon. <laughs> for the wolf hunting keepsake is a broken fang from one of the ferocious wolves that inhabit the Black Howl Plains. Only intrepid hunters can acquire this material, symbolizing the death of Iskale the Greyfanged. job at all now upgrade the armor you know how right just like weapons armor can be upgraded too the more you upgrade your armor the more damage it can withstand here I will give you some materials try upgrading that armor you just crafted that's all I can teach you for now keep crafting and upgrading your armor you're off to fight crackle today but you will surely face more fearsome opponents next time. You successfully crafted armor using Rachel's materials. You will bring more materials you find on the road to a crafter to make other types of armor. Necklaces, earrings, rings, they're all very useful. told you to develop your armor to withstand high impact attacks. You'll have to learn to craft better armor pieces and improve them to prepare for tougher fights ahead.
to you. Please accept this in return.
Karak, I don't even have money for another drink. Uh, who are you? Keep thanks? Yeah, I made them. Uh, uh, but I made my last one a long, long time ago. It's been so long, I can't even remember how to use my tools. I may not look it, but I'm very anxious. Whenever I begin a new project, I become consumed with doubt and indecision and... <laughs> So eerie? Uh, you mean that girl Henry is saved? But I, I just messed it up and disappoint her. And not just one, but two. And, uh, no, I can't. All right, fine, I'll try. But I, I need total silence to work, so please don't make a sound. Anyway, I hope so where he likes them. It feels great to pick up my tools again and get a bit of my old confidence back. I want to make you something too, someday. I don't feel quite ready yet. <laughs> Actually, uh, you should visit Marianne, the accessory crafter. A well-crafted accessory can make you more powerful. Uh, tell her I sent you, and she'll be good to you. Thomas, a Castleton craftsman, reminisced about the past and recreated the same kind of wolf hunting keepsake he made in times long gone. He vividly remembered the days when Iscale raided his town, recalling that alongside young Henry, who bravely set out to rescue the children, was an unknown hero. Adventurer, did you... Oh, you're a real lifesaver! Thank you so much! I'm so happy that you did all this for me. I'll put this keepsake to good use. I'll offer it at Henry's grave to let him know the hunting contest is still being held in his name. Actually, we weren't just saved by Henry. There happens to be another hero who came to save us that day. However, that person vanished without even saying a word. Do you think I'll meet that other hero someday? If I ever do... I'll hold on to this other keepsake so I can give it to them. Oh, if you have the time, you should go and visit Henry's grave. 
You'll be able to find his tomb over in the Abbey. That's the place where Henry fought Iskale. Oh, really? That'd be real nice. Castleton Abbey is located on a hill that's somewhere between the town and the plains. There is a way to make your skill stronger. You'll need an active or passive skill growth book, depending on which skill you want to improve. You'll need to use skill growth books to learn new skills. They're divided by skill level, so be sure to read them carefully. Say, didn't you visit me before? I knew it. Thank you for helping out Martinet. I will prepare special items for you, just for this once. Enhance your skills with active and passive skill growth books. Give it a try. It's easy. Following Thomas's advice, you visited the skills researcher Adrian. Adrian taught you how to craft and use skill growth books. Armed with this new knowledge, you now have the potential to become even stronger. Take your time browsing. Searching skills is very intense work. Researching skills is very intense work. Anything else you'd like to see? Ah, congratulations. You've done very well. Now, is there anything else you would like to know more about? Oh, if you find any skills books for skills you've already learned, don't worry. 
You can bring them to me, and I'll use them to craft solutions. Is there anything else you'd like to ask? You crafted a skill growth book with Adrian's help. Adrian said if a skill reaches a certain level, an additional effect will be activated. Such power will be very helpful in the coming war. Check if you're missing it. Da Vinci Aaron, as the leader of the Laslan Allied Resistance Forces, hereby erect this oath stone to honor the heroes who dedicated their lives to the will of the Resistance. Those who seek to become part of the Resistance must take their oath with a desire in their heart to follow the will of the Resistance engraved here. As of this moment, I have become part of the Honorable Resistance and will defend the peace of Silesium. I will fight, standing on the side of righteousness, against the Archeum Legion that threatens this land. I will complete contracts, and never ignore the plight of those who need assistance. I hereby swear, as I take this pledge, You finally gave Soiri the wolf hunting keepsakes you'd gathered. She was overjoyed, expressing her gratitude over and over again. Soiri hoped that people would continue to remember Henry for years to come, and told you the location of the abbey where he's buried. The howl of the alpha wolf resurrection! Thank you. I couldn't have fought them off without... It must be one of the three leaders of Iskale's pack! Thank you. I couldn't have fought them off without you. Iskale is leading wolves to attack the village. What happened to the others in the Abbey? What about the kids? Ah, oh, come to think of it, you're not from our village, are you? How did you end up in a dangerous place like this? You must leave. The wolves will be here soon. If you head downhill, you'll find the village. You'll be safe there. I have to look after the others here. 
the wolves attacked and the people in the abbey weren't able to flee the village. There are young children among them. We must rescue them quickly, if they're still alive. Really? It will be dangerous, but... Uh, thank you. There was no one inside or behind the abbey. Let's look below. Hey! I hear children! Oh no! There are wolves here too! I was so scared! Did you come here to save us? I want to go home. Really? Thank you so much! Because of this, Kale, so many people. I didn't want to be eaten! I couldn't save everyone, but thanks to you, the children are safe. The wolves could be back any minute. I must get them to the village. It won't be easy to protect the children while we make our way down in the dark. Can you help me once more? Thank you. I don't know where you came from, but I'll never forget your kindness. Oh, I haven't properly introduced myself yet. My name is Henry Kassler. Would you mind telling me your name? I won't forget. I'll lead the way. Please check on the children to make sure they're keeping up. The wolves are gone. Please open the door. The door just won't open. I think it's broken. What do we do now? Oh, no, no. Happy. Happy It's another alpha wolf! children must be startled. Could we catch our breath for a moment? Hit the road again. No more breaks until we get to the village. You can do it, right? Um, uh, right. Okay. 
We should go slowly so the children can keep up. Um, I must speak with you. The village is straight ahead. Can you bring them to the village for me? I have to go back to the Abbey. Iskale will be there soon. Lately, I've been having the same mysterious dream. In that dream, I'm attacked, just like today. And in the end, I face Iskale alone at the Abbey. In my dream, only I know how to defeat Iskale. And after that battle, an age of peace returns to Castleton. Now I understand the meaning of the dream Hamill sent me. I know what I have to do. I'm not sure why Hamill chose me. I just know that it is my duty. Uh, I think it's already begun. The wolves are coming. We must protect the children. I'll take this side. We are out of time. I ask you once more, please make sure that the children make it to the village safely. And... Ah, that howl... children until the end you beast over here My daughter. I thought I'd never see my daughter again. I don't know how to thank you. Uh, are you Henry's friend? I heard that Henry went up to the Abbey alone to save the children. No, I can't. His kale is a monster. No human could stand against him alone. And Henry's weak. If he went to fight his kale, he'd be killed in a heartbeat. I hope he can find some way to come back safely. While you were standing over Henry's grave, 
the spirit of the divine beast Hamel appeared. As he used his mysterious power, a vision of the abbey where Henry and Iskel fought unfolded before your eyes. What was Hamel trying to tell you? If you are able to control the dangerous astral force, where will your path lead? sacred deer of the Black Owl Plains met his demise, and his death heralded Iskale's return. Those who fled from the wolves found themselves isolated in the abbey. Iskale, with the power of the star fragment and backed by a pack of ravenous wolves set upon them. While the people cowered in terror, Henry rose to the occasion. He had always admired Hamel's courage, and he took heart from it now, urging the others to escape. As Henry desperately battled against the wolves, Iskale rushed towards him. Henry knew of Iskale's weak point. Hamel had come to him in a dream, showing him what he needed to know, and so Henry hurled his torch at the bottles of lamp oil in the storeroom. The oil ignited instantly, and with each fiery explosion, the very ground beneath their feet trembled. Henry was caught in the flames, along with Iskale. All that remained when the others returned to the abbey were the bones and ashes of Henry and the wolves. Now the people of Castleton hold a wolf hunting contest every year to honor the courage and sacrifice of the young hero.